Hello and welcome to our Moss Landers game um, video. Just thought I'd create a video a bit following my last released one. Um, I said that I would go down the route of uh, vents, oxygen generators um, and ice and that sort of stuff. So I am just going to start with um, the vent system just so um, what I've done is created a very basic sort of base. Um, but obviously <laughs> a lot smaller than it would normally be. So this would be your center, and then this is my sort of, you might say this is something that I use quite often, so like an outer shell of protection for your base. Um, what I'm gonna do is just quickly fill this stuff in. Um, I am using creative mode just for the purpose of this video, but I don't generally do that, so. Um, vent. So that goes in there, the vent, I'm going to round the back, um, and there we are. So what I'm now going to do is get our oxygen generator and tank. Uh, in fact, let's get some conveyor system just to make it a little bit more complex. Um, what I'm going to do is if, if we put a conveyor there, we can then pipe that there like that, put one of those there, or even um, No, let's just go straight down the route of. So what you're going to need, all your oxygen is meant to be stored in a tank. So what you do is you have your oxygen tank directly put into the conveyor system. Um, and then what you could do is have the generator directly plugged into that. So I'm going to put that like that. With a curved one right okay so what that's basically done I'm gonna to need to put a reactor on here actually because um, I disconnected it from the main base let's put that there so we've got power now so what that's basically done is just allowed the oxygen that's generated to flow down into the actual oxygen tank because that's already put into the conveyor system that will then grab the oxygen and pump it out into this vent um, so what I'm going to do now is literally just fill all this in need to make sure it's airtight we can either use these um, or just for the purpose of this, let's use a normal door possibly, there we go. Um, but the system I've used is a little bit small for them. And the only way is if I remove them for a second. Put them across like that. Um, felt this in like that. So that should be everything. So I'm going to go in here now, click on to there, and then all of those hanger doors. I'm going to go doors, and we're going to close them. They will now close down. And as you see, once they've closed, that should go green all the way along on the vent. Once we've made an airtight room, there you go. See, it's now letting out the air. Um, this isn't really the best method because what's 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 going to happen when I open these doors? Um, all of the air is being sucked down. So, best way to fix that or stop that from happening, I find, is to make an outer shell. Um, and what that does, it does two things: an extra layer of protection for your base. Um, we may need another set of those facing upwards. Like that, um, and then what should happen? 
happens if I put another reactor because these buildings aren't actually connecting. Like I said, this is a very sort of basic approach. I wouldn't have used a reactor and all that sort of stuff generally like that. Um, they'd all be nicely hidden away. Um, but ooh, that didn't do that. Just for the purpose of this video, it would be more than adequate. Um, and the good thing about using this method is it actually hides your conveyor system, so no one knows where anything's piped in unless they are actually you did the top note. And slowly nicking everything, so. All the way along. Okay. Let's come up here. Ooh. Okay, now I was going to show you that same scenario again. open those do so you come in here and then what you do is when you're in shut the doors come in here That puts the air in. Now what we do. Is open these ones. Somehow they've linked together. Even though these buildings aren't linked. Ah, oh, they are now, yeah. Right, let's make it so they're not in any way. They should be done there. Let's go up here. Close that. Right, they shouldn't. Link now. He says, Yeah, so they're not. So you come in here, you shut these doors like that. They're now shut. You would come in here and then shut these doors. You're in your base, you can do what you need to, do some refining or building, wait for that to go airtight. 
Just letting the air in, as you can see. It's now air tight, and the room's filled. And watch this. So now, when I open these doors, it will do that initially because it's filling this area up with air as well. But what happens is, is when we open these doors, the air won't escape. Um, I mean, the, the the other way to accomplish which is simpler would be just to put a normal door in. Um, so number five, like that, and then a block around it all the way, and then. open these doors for a second open let's clear those clear those Uh, they're not the same building anymore. Um, there we go. Just getting them lined up that first time. So, right, this will accomplish the same thing, but it's actually slightly better. Uh, and the reason being is if you watch, we go in here. Shut that one. Go in here. Check that one. See, that's already started letting air in. We go like this. That will now stop the air from leaving. We can go out, and we've just not wasted all of our oxygen. Um, this is the one that's better, but obviously with ships, um, you're still going to maybe want oxygen in your hangar bays, um, and that other method will work. You just need to get it sorted out 100%. Um, Again, once you're in here, shut that one. Open that one. And that, we're not wasting any option. Um, right, I'm probably going to end this video now and bring up another one later on with um, how to make sort of different hangar doors based out of... So if we go in here, sort of like blast door edges, um, putting those onto um, pistons and even putting the pistons on maybe... Um, a router that so we can rotate the door once it's a, well, basically what I've done before is I've had it hidden away um, it came out with pistons at the, and then on the end of it there were two roads that would uh, which we had to use merge blocks on uh, then fold downwards and stop the door um, but yeah no thank you very much and thank you for watching bye bye